Hey guys. Um like the video goes on and my mind goes blank half the time. I go into video mode. What I was gonna say is I'm still wearing the same shirt that I've worn since yesterday. Same pants I haven't changed. I've had a crazy couple days. Party work. Work party work. Party. Sleep. Make video. But I was gonna expand on gravity and electricity. A little bit. So I believe that the universe is consists of thought and weight. Which translates as we perceive it and label it in the third dimension as electricity and gravity. Not necessarily energy but electricity. Energy. What is energy? People say we're made up of energy. But what does that mean? It's a very vague way of describing it. Heat? Heat energy? Heat is energy. So are people saying that we're made up of heat? No, what's happening is the heat is being caused. The energy that we measure is being caused as a result of the motion. Gravity is pulling and electricity is pushing. And the heat that we sense Heat energy, the energy that consists of everything, is actually a byproduct of the motion that's been set. We send something spinning from the sixth dimension. We take, we have thought and mass. Mass thought, we have both, and we take the we take the weight and we send it spinning through a doorway of choice into this reality. And it will continue to spin as it's been spun in this reality, unless it is affected by electricity. Essentially, we send a rock spinning in this reality. By sp we see it, you know, you send it, it's here. This cell phone is spinning around right now. Every part of it is flying around itself because of gravity but it's not animated, not yet. It can be if you infuse electricity into the situation, but otherwise it's not animated. Inanimate objects need electricity to animate, a lighter perhaps, inanimate object, until I, using thought, or what I call electricity, using it to project it into this body, this inanimate body to function, to act, using electricity. Our thought controls a small percentage of electricity. Maybe it affects all of it. Probably it affects all of it on a level, but we don't have much direct control over our electricity. You can't fire electricity out of your fingers. Of course, I say you can't. I've never seen someone do that. I don't see why we couldn't. I suppose we could. We are conduits of electricity. We are conduits of action. We're conduits of electricity and gravity. Although I think maybe we have less control of the gravity than we think.
as if we set the gravity going, but then we animated these bodies, and this is drawing our focus away from the gravitational experience. So our animation, due to electric impulse, is our primary focus as humans. That's what the ego is, is it's electrically animated to be. It's being created in the moment. The gravity we set spinning here is still spinning, and we've still got our finger on it, spinning it around, keeping it going, but we're not focused on it because we're focused on the third dimensional electric animation. So we have to, if we want to focus on the gravity, if we want to focus on the things that are appearing into our reality, we have to let go of the immediate experience. We have to let go of manipulating the immediate experience because that, if we're firing electricity off, and, and affecting things and moving and acting and creating and speaking and, and driving, then we're not focused on pulling, utilizing the gravity that we have access to to pull things into our reality. So if you calm yourself and you stop firing current, people sense it and are drawn to it. And with the people come things. And yeah, with the people come things. So say you find a, you just, you need a bike and you, you've been meditating a lot and you walk outside and there's a bike. Somebody put that there. You didn't create the bike. This is an old theory that I had that every moment you did create the bike. You pulled it to you, but you pulled it to you through another person. Maybe you just pulled it all to you. But for some reason I feel like the people are always involved. Or the, the animation is always involved. I start to think about the weather. That's, that's a human experience. Maybe we have wind Maybe wind is natural with a spinning object, with a spinning piece of matter. You, you get wind resistance. So the wind, that's the winds. So we feel spiritually tied to the winds. And that's why lightning is so unnatural in a storm because a storm, the rain and the wind is part of the gravity. But the, but the lightning I'm, I'm, it's like I'm standing on this thin line that's ice and oil and I'm slipping on, off either side as I'm walking and my feet are barely keeping contact with this but I know that I've said some insightful things about electricity animation in this and I, it gets a little convoluted at times because I'm still figuring this out I'm still and will always still be searching that never stops the wind I need to spend more time in nature and think about it in nature and talk about it in nature and then it will become clear to me okay this has been good